as I'm injecting, I'm going to use these vibrations to distract Matt. So the vibrations kind of take away from the discomfort of the needle. You've got 1,600 needle pricks. I don't think I was expecting that. We drew on his head the plan for today, and for this operation, the head is shaved, and we individually remove the pieces, the grafts, that we're going to implant in the top. And then using microscopes, we dissect it down to produce the individual grafts that will then be implanted in the top of the head. Let's meet our surgery seekers. So what brings you here today? Just because I'm normally quite a confident lad, but one of my biggest insecurities is my hair. Like, I'll spend hours doing my hair, making, trying to cover up my hair loss. I care about, you know, the way I look, so obviously um, I'm going through hair loss, so I do want to, you know, have a look at the surgery and what's involved. Thank you. Andrea, tell me what brings you here. Basically, I feel a little bit differently, and yeah, I'm part of, like, the LGBT community, and the one thing that really holds me back in my confidence is my hairline. Um, I don't have a receding hairline, but I don't have the most feminine-looking, I would say, hairline shape. I just don't feel confident. I used to brush it forward, when it was windy, my hair would just be all over the place, so that was when my confidence was definitely at its lowest. It was incredibly amusing for everyone to have somebody in the school who was losing their hair. It certainly made me feel inadequate to some extent. I think I'll be much happier a year down the line once my hair starts to grow back. That was Matt. Now it's time to go back to the clinic. A lot of people ask, why don't you do this under general anaesthetic? Well, we use different positions throughout the surgery. Patient needs to move for us. It makes it a lot more complicated if the patient was asleep. So our hairs at the back of our heads, or everywhere in the head, are, do not come out one at a time. They naturally come out in groups called follicular units. And a follicular unit is an anatomical group of skin, fat, and you have a number of roots and hairs come out together. Are you feeling nice and relaxed? Mm, you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just seeing someone like awake, even though he's like in a dreamlike state, it's it's a lot to take in. Matt is turned over facing down. We're ready for the uh, harvesting bit or removing the hairs from the back. So Dr. Nilof is now going to start taking a few grafts out. They are about one millimeter um, in diameter. So you have the skin at the top, a little tiny fat layer at the bottom, and the root sits in the, in the fat layer and the hair kind of flowing through that. And is Matt still conscious? Are you able to ask him if he's okay? Our friends in the studio would like to know how you're feeling. Um, relaxed. This is probably the, the easiest part. There's no, uh, you know, it's almost, I can't feel anything at all. We're using uh, what's called implanters. It's like a syringe with a needle and it's got a slit in it and starting to put the hairs back into his head. The graft sits inside it and then this top plunger gets pushed in and the graft gets deposited into the hole that I pre-created at the beginning. It does look quite bloody. Is that blood or is it, is it saline or what, what is it? It is blood, but it's not really bleeding. It's just like oozing. And like it's, as soon as you dab it, it goes away because you've got 1,600 needle pricks. So it just looks a lot worse than it actually is. You can already see how much fuller it's going to be at the front. Yeah, it's, it's um, 537 grafts and they're all being placed and the surface just been uh, sort of kept misted so it stays fresh. And after Matt has his um, bit of lunch, then we'll go back to removing the rest of the grafts. Matt, it looks great already. How are you feeling? Fine. I mean, just a bit of numbness on my head. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I've, I'm, I'm ready for a bit more. All four of our surgery seekers came here wanting a hair transplant for their own reasons. This is the time for you to share your final decision with us. Is this a procedure you're seeking or not? blood and needles and stuff like that. Just seeing all the blood is just a bit like... I didn't realise that there'd be so many incisions made. The earlier I do it, the earlier I'll have to go back. You see them going into reality shows looking one way, and three months later they look completely different, and you're like, this has changed, and I kind of want this, so, like, what are you doing? 